Hey romance readers, welcome back to my channel Adore R. My name is Linda. Uh, I hope everyone's had a good Saturday and I hope I can recommend some good books today. So let's get started. I have um, how many books I have here. I have five books I want to recommend and I have uh, four books from my TBR uh, pile. So let's get started. Uh, the first three are by the same uh, author. Um, I had never read her before and I just discovered her, well not this year, I think maybe last year, a year before last. Um, and I had this in my keeper pal and I pulled them out. And this Delilah Marville, have any of you read her? Um, I read this, uh, it's been a while. Uh, and I really enjoyed it so I bought the other two books. I think they're all, um, I don't want to say they are series, but I think they're all dealing with the same. Because um, two of the guys in here, they know each other. And one of the books I can't really remember, but it was in my keeper pile, so I, I guess I really liked it. And they're all by the same author, so I'm going to recommend um, these three books. So the first one is uh, Forever a Lady, and I'll read you a little bit of this. Um, Lady Burnett Marie Barton may be the wealth, wealthiest widow in England, but like her dreams of finding true passion, her reputation is deteriorating. Cruel gossip, loneliness, and hordes of opportunists suitors have been believing societies couldn't be more vile have her look i'm starting off already <laughs> on the downward spir spiral <laughs> let me start over cruel gossip loneliness and hordes of opportuni opportunistic suitors have her believing society couldn't be more vile or dangerous so when an attacker threatens her life, she finds safety in the most uns unseemly of places, the arm of a mysterious Irish-American gang leader. Matthew Milton is done playing the respectable gentleman in the slums of New York. Only rough ruffians thrive, but from the moment he arrives in London and encounters the virtuous, the, the virtuous, the voluptuous, it's one of those words. <laughs> Lady Bernadette, the voluptuous Lady Bernadette, he can't help but wonder about the finer pleasures he's missing. So I think he went to London with his friend because uh, in the other book, uh, his friend is a boxer. And his friend uh, was in America. I think he got kidnapped when he was a kid and, uh, and somebody took him over to America and that's how he met Matthew. So the first book I read was about Matthew and he's over in England with his friend. I think I really can't, I can't remember, but I, I know I enjoyed the book because it was in my keeper pile and I kind of remember it, and it, but I haven't read it but once, but I really enjoyed it and I kept it because I know I would want to read it again. And it's Delilah Marville, Forever a Lady. And the next one is, let me see, is this the one about his friends? Yep, this is it. It's, uh... Delilah Marville, Forever a Lord. And I'm going to read you a little bit of this. Uh, Lady Imogene Norwood lives a sheltered life of quiet respectability and routine until she meets the wild and broken Lord Atwood. He is wholly unexpected, he is wholly unexpected among London's elite. And the very shy English Rose suddenly realizes that a little chaos might be just what her heart de desires. Lord Nathaniel James Atwood doesn't believe true love exists since scandal tore him away from his family at an early age. He has spent his life fighting for what he wants. That attitude has made him a rising star in the bare knuckle boxing and now leads him back to London to reclaim the life that was stolen from him. I enjoyed this one too. I think they get married in this one. Her, um, Imogene and Nathaniel, I think they get married in this book. And like I said in my other video, I like when they get married before the book ends so you can know what's going on. So I think he does marry her. And this is uh, Forever a Lord. And the next one is Delilah Marville's Forever a Day. And I'll read a little bit of this. Roderick Gideon Tremaine, the recently appointed Duke of Wentworth, never expected to find himself in New York City tracking down a mysterious map important to his late mother and he certainly never expected to be injured only to wake up with no memory of who he is but when he sees the fiery haired beauty who's taken it upon herself to rescue him suddenly his memory is the last thing on his mind and I like this one too I think I can't remember if they get 
married in this one too and she he takes her back to England with him like it's been a while since I read these but I like her writing and if you haven't uh, read Delilah uh, Marvel check her out and let me know what you think forever a day forever a lord and forever a lady and I got two more here I want to recommend this one is a historical uh, well that was historical too but this is historical uh, african-american historical you don't see those too much and it's by Beverly Jenkins she write a lot of historical I got quite a few of her books too but I was looking through my stack here and I saw this one I have forgot all about this one it's indigo uh, this is one of my this is the favorite uh, a favorite of my uh, of all the uh, Beverly Jenkins historical I read I really enjoyed this one and I'll read you a little bit of this as a child, Hester White escaped slavery, but now the dark-skinned beauty is a dedicated member of Michigan's Underground Railroad, offering other runaways a chance at the freedom she has learned to love. When one of her fellow conductors brings her an injured man to hide, Hester doesn't hesitate even after she is told about the price on his head. The man in question is the great conductor known as the Black Daniel, a vital member of the North Underground Railroad Network. But Heather finds him so rude and arrogant, she begins to question her vow to hide him. So if you haven't read this, check this out. When I ordered this book, I didn't expect it to be this big. And as you can see, there's no cover. I wish she would. Um, I wish they would reprint this and uh, put a cover on here, a, a different cover, uh, because it's just a just a plain cover. And um, but it was I enjoyed the book. I thought it was just gonna be like a regular size book. This I think this is the first book I ever got in these. You know they're doing them all like this now, making a big size. But this is the first time I ever got. I think this was the first book I ever got in this size, and that was a long time ago. Let me see when she published this. Uh, 1996, and they re I guess this is a republishing because it said 1996, and then 2000 by, and then it got a, a 2000 publishing on here too so i don't know what the i don't know if this the original cover or was it another cover but i wish they would do another republishing of this and put a different cover on here but if you haven't tried this out check it out it's beverly jenkins uh it's a historical african-american romance um indigo and my last recommendation is by carrot rock karen roberts or roberts or robots robots karen robots uh one summer have any of you read this? Like I said, she used to write historicals too. I don't know, was this her first endeavor into um, hardback? Because I don't remember, I think, I don't remember ever buying a hardback from her. I, I don't like buying hardbacks too much. They take up too much room. I usually just like buying the um, the soft cover ones. Uh, but I read the, uh, the synopsis on it. I really liked it and I wanted to get it right away. So I went ahead and purchased the hardcover. And let me see when she... Um, when this was published. This was published in 1993. I'll read you a little bit of this. Karen Robards has enraptured readers and earned a place not only on their bookshelf but in their hearts with her romant with her many romantic novels. Yes, she has. And okay, one summer begins when Johnny Harris returned to his small, less than welcoming Kentucky Kentucky hometown after serving time for a murder he didn't commit. Among the cruel whispering behind his back, one voice speaks to him with, without hosti hostility, that of his former school teacher, Rachel Grant, the sole believer in his innocence. As their friendship grows into a passionate affair, murmurings of a scandal grow strong, but the new lovers can endure the town's cold treatment as long as they face it together. I haven't read this a while. in a while. I had took this out. I read it. I read this synopsis again. I was like, I got to reread this. So I'm going to reread this, but... Not until I read some of these other books, but it's going to be on my uh, to be read pile now. But I've read it before. I really enjoyed it. So I'm going recommend to recommend it to you out there. Karen Robards. Karen Robards, One Summer. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about my recommend recommendations today. Have you read any of these? Let me know. Did you like them? Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Let me know what you think in, in, in the description below. Um, Karen Robach, One Summer, Indigo by Beverly Jenkins, an African-American historical, uh, Delilah Marvel, Forever a Lady, Forever a Lord, a Lord, Lord, I cannot pronounce that word, <laughs> Forever and a Day, 
and I'm gonna go to my to be red pile now I got four of them I'm not gonna read the back of those I'm just gonna go through them I got another historical african-american romance passions fury have any of you read that out there out there let me know what what, is, what you thought about this book I haven't read I bought it for the cover you know I'll be buying books for the cover I thought it was very I thought it was beautiful let me know what you think give me some comments below I haven't been getting any comments below on book what are you, you all reading out there? I know you're reading, um, you got to be reading some romances. I got some subscribers, so I know you like romances like I do. So let me know what you're reading. Re give me some recommendations. I don't want to be the only one giving recommendations on this channel. So give me some recommendations down below of what you're reading and what you love to read. Do you love historical, contemporary, uh, paranormal? Let me know. So, and let me know if you've read this. I bought this. I got this from Walmart. Um last year i haven't read it an american duchess uh by sharon page have any of you read this let me know what you thought about it. let me know what you think about the book uh next one is my favorite author lynn carlisle woman scorn a woman scorn let me know if you read this i think i got this from the uh goodwill for a dollar 75 no this came from mckay's bookstore okay i didn't know i had I don't remember getting this, but yes, yeah, at McKay's bookstore, 175. I might have it already. They just done put another. You know how I feel about them covers. They might be done put another cover on here, but I, cause like I said, she'll automatic buy for me, so I might already have this. I just gotta reread it and see. Uh, Liz Carlisle, a woman scorn. Let me know if you read this. And last but not least, another favorite author of mine, Connie Brockway. So enchanting. Let me know if you read this too. That's all I have for you today. I want to come back and, like I said, I'm going to try to do videos um, Monday and Friday. And I did one today because I skipped um, this Monday. I didn't get to do a video. So let me, th let me know what you think about my recommendations and my TBR. And have you read any of those? If you have, comment below. And let me know what you're reading out there. Give me some uh, comments below. That's all I have for now. Until next time. Keep reading those romances and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.